What's up everybody and welcome to the inaugural Premier League pub quiz. Today I am joined by Mr. Oaklefish. Yo. And Mr. Jack 54 HD. Hello, how's it going everybody? Well, we're going to be putting a bit of a spin on the pub quiz because we're going to be discussing the greatest Premier League 11 of all time. However, whenever there is a disagreement between the lads, it is going to be settled by a pub quiz question. Whoever gets it right or whoever gets the closest to the answer gets their players to go in. So, for example, if Jack is absolutely adamant that the best left centre mid, centre attacking mid, whatever you want to say, central midfielder in Premier League history is Steven Gerrard and he needs to go into that squad, but Oakley's saying it's Frank Lampard, it'll be settled by a pub quiz question. The reason we are doing this is because, as you guys know from the Squabble of the Showdown the other day, I am currently competing in Top 11's 10-year anniversary fan championship. Now, if we take a look at the table, to be honest, I mean, you can see if we scroll all the way down, you can see Oakley. <laughs> Just because you got slapped up by me in the first in the first couple of games, you ran away with your flipping tail between your legs, done up all your facilities, feel like you're a big man, <laughs> and um, yeah. It's just, Before just, you make not, an enemy out of me, Oakley Fish, I feel like enemies of my enemies are my friends. So if we go and Friendly take a look me. at Bateson's squad, you don't think... Discuss. Listen, that is one man I don't want to discuss right now, okay? Because <laughs> you look at that, he is the Manchester City of this tournament, okay? He's Manchester City and Chelsea from like 2008. Combined. Um, Bramovich, mate. It is a joke. He's like, he's, he's a fusion of them both. Like, look at that team, mate. It's, it is a joke. He is currently top of the league on goal difference, but he has played an extra game than me, and I did beat him. However, if I'm going to be competing with Bateson and Nepo, to be fair, who's also doing very well, who I also beat, but they've both started to storm away, and I've been dropping points to other people. If I'm going to compete with them, I feel, I'd, feel like I need an upgrade on my Everton squad. I mean, I've got a six, a five and a half, six-star Pickford Mina, Dinier, my guy is sick and Richarlison's really good, but if I'm going to like take it to the next level and actually win this league, I feel like I need an upgrade and we're going to turn these boys into the Premier League all-time greatest 11. If you guys want to get involved in some top 11 action, the season starts on the 13th of every month, so you can download it and start building your club up now, get your mates involved, get them ready to go. And once the next friendly championship kicks off, you guys will be able to play in that one. It's really good. I've been really, really enjoying it. And as you can tell, tell by this video, taking it incredibly seriously. I mean, Oakley's absolutely fuming. Like, uh, yeah, I am, of course. Who? No you know, one I think he's playing for the video. He's actually just fuming. No, no, yeah, no one shows up to lose, mate. You've got to be competitive in these things. And it's just a shame that you have swindled me out of it. By invite this guy, ladies and gentlemen, he straight off the bat, he's like, oh yeah, if I were you, I'd do up your parking facilities, which I did. My parking facilities... So are did I, mate. I'm probably the on, best in the on. league, mate. I'm talking multi-story, three-story <laughs> flipping car park. It's a shame I've got 16 fans to come and park in there. <laughs> I'm getting some people, if, so, there's uh, four members of the same family all taking their own cars, so just to fill mate. it up. Look at the size of my stadium. I've absolutely smashed it. Anyway, we're getting very, very sidetracked, Oakley Fish. What we're here to do, actually, is take down Bateson, not argue between ourselves. So in order to do that, we need to create the all-time greatest Premier League 11 for them to become my team on top 11 and hopefully go on to beat Chuboy tonight. So, because I, like you've seen the table, I'm actually doing all right, but we need to take it to the next level. So, let's just get cracking, mate, and let's get designed. Do you reckon there's any positions, as I grab my whiteboard to make notes of this, is there any positions that you guys are going to absolutely 100% agree on? I would have thought so. There's, there's, is there's is a, there a formation there's a that you want to agree on as well? Like, what what would you play? 4-3-3? Three, three? Three? You've got to go 4-3-3. Three, three. Okay, so if you're playing 4-3-3... Three, three, I think you've got to have 4-3-3 because... Three, three, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll There's so many go good four, midfielders four, three. that have been about... And the forwards can be like... You could have a striker at right, right, right wing, I suppose. Okay, should I just go ahead and put in the first absolutely nailed on one? Okay, let's hear it. Tony Hibbert. Okay, absolutely not. Who should be? He should be in. <laughs> He's the left back in the changing rooms, mate. Isn't he? He's not even that, mate. He doesn't deserve that crown. Don't give him that. <laughs> okay, come on. There must be one or two players who you both. Who's the best Premier League goalkeeper of all time? I'll go Van der Sar. I'll go Schmeichel then. See, I would have okay. gone Schmeichel. But are oh, you gonna have to jump a, straight in and settle this off the bat of a question? Go for it, mate. I think okay. so, the thing is, there's arguments to be made for both of them. Yeah, well, there is I arguments, think. but we're not setting it with rational discussion, Oakley. We're setting it with a Premier League yeah, pub quiz. Yeah, that's fine. I'm ready for it, mate. Okay, so, straight in. In fact, this question is very much themed around one man who deserves to go straight into the squad. It's Alan Shearer. I don't think so. He's, I don't he's, agree. He's Oakley, got the, the most goals get out this in video. No, I get disagree. Him. He's the all-time Premier League top goal scorer. 
Yeah, but that's that's the, so Gareth Barry's got the most appearances. James Milner's the second one after him. I do, I do. Doesn't mean they go straight in. That is, so there are better, there are better strikers than Alan Shearer. You're telling me you take, the you take prime Shearer at Everton over prime Henri, prime if you want to put him up as a striker Ronaldo, prime Aguero. You, you're telling me that he'd walk into your team over those. No. He okay. Walk, well, does he? He doesn't walk. He doesn't walk it, so he can't be straight okay. in. Well, let's uh, let's have the question anyway. For Schmeichel or Van der Sar, Alan Shearer is the all-time Premier League top goal scorer. But how many goals did he score? Answers on your whiteboard, so there's no one up and. Oakley, where have you gone for, mate? I've gone for 273. Okay, Jack. I've gone for 330, which is about. Oh <laughs> Jesus <quite> Christ! <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of goals. I can tell you, the actual answer is 260. So that is a point. Uh, yeah, I was going to say 262 as well, so I'm happy with that. To Oakle Fish and Van der Sar, you said, didn't you? Yes, I did. Van der Sar is in the squad. That is actually Lovely. a very... Um, if that's a calibre of, that if that's a calibre of question, mate, we're, we're in for, I think we could be in for a rough ride here, Jack. This is going <laughs> yeah. to do, gonna do, gonna do absolutely nothing for our image of being I, uh, slightly I would thick. Like to, I, would li <laughs> I would like to retract. <laughs> I would like to retract my answer, if that is quite possible. What did you say, Jack? Frisian fair to you or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I, wasn't really, I didn't really think about the logistics of it. Like, 10 years in the Prem, just say, for example, th you have to score 30 goals. 33 goals Each, a season. Yeah. For yeah. It's just a totally unrealistic, so... <laughs> I think Oakley's got a few years on me on the, in the brain. Hey, less no, of that, please, mate. Mate, FIFA YouTubers are notoriously <laughs> thick anyway, aren't we? So <laughs> it's just how okay. it's meant to be. <laughs> right, we need we need to we can't have a question for everyone. You need to agree on something. So I'm gonna start I'm gonna start throwing some names out. Go left back. I want you to agree on some of them. Okay, go left back. I've, I've got one. Ashley Cole. Cole. Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Good. Good. I knew that. Not Leighton Baines. No way. Okay. Right back. Gary Neville. Go again. Don't you dare say Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jack. No, I'm not going to say Trent. He's, I'm no, he's to agreeing think of, with um, it. Who are you saying um, then? Zabaleta? Ivanovic? No, I mean... Gary Neville? I think I would go... I think I would go with Gary Neville, to be honest. He's not the most showy player, but he won the most out of all of them, didn't yeah, he? I think yeah, I think Yeah, I can't think off the top of my head of another one. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with we'll go with Neville. Okay, we'll go with Gary Neville. This is where it gets a little bit more contentious. Two centre backs. Should we do? Should we start? Do you want to do them both at the same time or what? Well, give me both of your centre backs, and if one of them matches, then we can just pop them straight in, and we can have a discussion or an argument about the other one. Rio Ferdinand. Oh. Yeah. I'd say Vidic and Terry. Oh, okay. See, I go Rio. I go Rio and Terry. But the thing is, I'm, I'm kind of torn because like there are some other players that I do want to. Include honorable like, mentions, yeah. So, shall I say you've both said John Terry, so John Terry can go in, but then also Vidic. Like, there's Vidic, there's I, it's got to be one of them. I think company's up there. I don't, I don't think he probably got to, I don't know, but he won. So, the thing is, yeah, what you got to look he, at is like, look at City since company's left, they have struggled, yeah, they have. Like, that's that's that the thing, and, that, and that's when you know, like, a player is that's why yeah. I said Van der Sol when he left, that's when stuff without being horrible. The hair, it kind of, it took him a while to get back. Obviously, Fergie left around the same time as well, I think. It shows they're more than just a player on the pitch. Like, they actually yeah. have an impact around the club. Okay, I'll go, I'll I'll go is, Terry yeah. and Ferdinand, I think. What yeah, are you I'd, saying, I'd go, I'd go Terry and Vidic, just because I think Vidic... Terry and Vidic. Yeah, okay. You saw that name on the team sheet and you were like, oh my God. I see, I, I won't disagree with Vidic at all, but at the same time, I'm gonna, I am going to go with Rio. Okay, so we're having a, a question for which Manchester United... Centre back yeah. goes in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Adams. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Campbell. I'm surprised. Va I mean, yeah, it's kind of you, it's too early to say Van Dyke. Yeah. I think in in years to come it will be. Yeah, I'd say in the next. I think I mean, he, he needs he, to he win a Premier League title. In. I think like, he probably dances in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're one game away and we're going to win it. But no. <laughs> question number two then for the Premier League pub quiz, following on from the greatest goal scorer. 28 players, obviously a freebie including Alan Shearer, has scored more than 100 Premier League goals. I want you to name five of them. Five players that have scored more than 100 Premier League goals. I've watched many uh, 
100 Premier League up, the 100 club on Sky Sports. I've obviously given you a freebie in Alan Shearer because we know he scored 260. So what we, but you can't include him, surely? If you, okay, give me five others then, if you want to make it harder. Okay, I'm ready, I think. Yeah, I'm ready. You both got them, okay. Jack, fire away. Uh, Les Ferdinand, Ian Wright, Aguero, Fowler, and I've put in Lampard as well. That is five players who have all scored over 100 goals in the Prem. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit scared about mine. Go on. I'm going to start off with the one that scares me the most. Michael Owen. Correct. Yeah, staple. Robbie Fowler. Correct. Henri. Yep. Aguero. Yep. And Wayne Rooney. Yeah, okay. So we need another question. You're both absolutely... That was, that was a freebie after the Alan Shearer 260 job. <laughs> so I'm going to say to you, we're going to go for one that's absolutely 100% going to settle you. You guys both said before when you were discussing players who should go into this squad that Gareth Barry's got the most Premier League appearances. Yeah. How many does he have? Now I want you to think logically, Jack. Don't be going to give him 60 appearances a season <laughs> like he did with the goals. I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. I'm not messing about. I want to call the clock on Jack as well. 30 seconds max from now. Oh, wow. Um, 25. <coughs> Not a man to mess around, are you, Oakley Fish? I'm not here, mate. I'm here. I'm not here to take to make friends. I'm not great, mate, with estimations. To be honest with you, if you, you know should know it straight off. Man. You got an end of the end of the era card, mate, for this. Yeah, I know. I've... You watch me be 250 off. <laughs> <laughs> you watch me be 250 <laughs> off. Have you got an answer, Jack? Uh. You've got to, mate. He's out of time. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, I as you're so incredibly this. confident, Oakley, go on, tell me the exact number then. 588. Okay, you've done me there. Not a bad estimate. Jack? I put 450. I was too scared to go a bit too ruthless. Because the last time. 653 games Gareth yeah. Barry plays in the Premier League games, for mate, a whole games. host of clubs. And yeah, mental. there we go. That is so crazy. Slap in Ferdinand, yeah? Rio Ferdinand. Wrong decision, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jack, I thought you came to a quiz, mate. You haven't been doing your research. I'm the brain of Bootle in this situation. Call me I'm Cara. Ba I'm better at general knowledge, mate, to be honest. I, I flipping doubt that as well. I really, I really am not. <laughs> I'll hit you with a... I'll, I'll hit you with one. Oh, my God. I'll hit you with one then, Jack. I'll hit you with a general knowledge-ish. Still about the Prem. Question for the next one. <laughs> so then, moving on to the midfield then. For Jack to be able to get a general knowledge question. This is arguably the most hotly contested... Highly discussed, most Twitter arguments about part of this video. Gerard, Lampard, Scholes, are you going to put all three of them in or are you going to and well, exclude so Vieira and Keane and people like that? This, or? So this this is where my question comes in. Does Ronaldo, are we classing him as a as an attacker or as a midfielder? Yeah. Ronaldo will be a forward. Okay, we're going to put him as forward. Okay, so should I, should, I, should, I give my, should I give my three then? Go on. I don't think, I think Vieira's got to go in. I also, I'm going to chuck it out there, even though it's more more attacking, I, I'm going to put um, Burkamp in. Okay, like okay. I'm going to implore you to take your Arsenal top, and Gerrard, okay. Yeah. That was said, firmly wearing a full Arsenal kit, wasn't it? <laughs> Mate, I don't think many people can argue with that. Vieira, uh, maybe there'll be questions about Burkamp, I, I really don't understand, I, I, just, I, I rate him too highly. Okay, what are you saying, Jack? I assume you're saying Gerrard as well, so we can go in. Yeah, I've, I've, got two, I've, I've said Gerard Lampard. Okay. Um, I'm kind of umming and ahhing about the... I I think... I mean, I could get absolutely slated for this, to be honest. And I don't really care. Because I've already said some stupid things in this video. But <laughs> I think David Silva's actually up there. Yeah, for the I was going to say, what about David Silva? What about De Bruyne? And, yeah, exactly. De Bruyne's and, not there yet, I don't think. He can't be. I don't it's the same as Van Dyke. I don't think Yaya Toure could be considered as one, like he's definitely one of the greatest that have played in the Premier League, but I don't think he could actually make the top, the best 11 ever. I'm going to say David Silva. I'm going to whack him in there. Okay, so I would, we disagree on two. I would personally be inclined to lean to, more towards Jack and say David Silva over Bergkamp. That's fair enough. Vieira good Lampard, doing, that's an interesting one. Good thing you're the quiz master, mate. Isn't it? Good <laughs> thing it's not my decision, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I think it's not your decision, yeah. Let's get, down to the, let's get down to the questions. Let the flipping brains do the talking, shall we? Okay, then. For <laughs> Vieira and Bergkamp or Lampard and David Silva, I'm going to hit you with 
Jack's requested general knowledge general, rather than okay. guesstimating. Uh, I was, to be fair, I was just giving it the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's crumbled. He's crumbled, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, no, let's hear it. Come on, let's, come on, let's hear it. Okay. N'Golo Kante won back-to-back Premier League titles with two different clubs. Leicester and then moving to Chelsea and winning it again the next season. But he wasn't the first player to do it. Someone did it the year before him without playing a single game for either team. Who was it? This is one of them you know it or you don't questions. Didn't Chelsea win it the year before? This is really difficult. It's one of them where you either know the answer or you don't. If you don't know the answer and you work it out, I'll be very, very impressed. If any of you guys have worked it out in the comment section of already knowing this answer, fair play. Okay. I don't think I spoke this guy's name right, but I'm taking an absolute stab here. Oh, is this without playing a single game? He didn't play yeah. a single game for either team. Okay, I'm not going to put an answer. I don't have an answer, so whatever Oakley puts is... So if Oakley's got it right... I can't think of a player that hasn't played a single game. Oakley? I've taken this. If it, honestly, if, I don't think it could be Danny Drinkwater, but if it is, I'm going to be so triggered. I actually went with Willy Caballero. That's a very, very, very good guess. Yeah, that's a good guess. Who but it's it? not. It's Mark Schwarzer. Oh, damn. Oh. Is that a keeper? Yeah. Yeah, damn. So your guess was very good. I'm pretty sure Caballero did win a title without playing a single game. Yeah. However, Schwarzer did it at Chelsea as their backup or third goalkeeper and then moved to Leicester and did it again the next season. Very nice. Very nice. So we need another a second question to settle it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say first one to shout the answer wins. Okay. However, in order to stop someone shouting every possible number in, under the sun, Can once you've shouted one, the other person gets a, a go. Yeah. Okay. How many clubs have won the Premier League? Six. Oakley Fish smashed it, mate. Boy, let's go. Knowledge. Did you shout, Jack? Burke I just heard there. Oakley's booming voice over the top. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't that quick, no. Okay. Vieira and Bear Camp into the squad. Get them in the team. There's going to be so many triggered people in this oh, video. It's going to be so triggered. Bear Camp, mate. Bear Camp. Listen. Some midfielder. <laughs> well, let's all oh, 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 look at him. Look at him getting all vocal now. Look at this. He flipping piped down two minutes ago, didn't he? Didn't hear a whisper out of him. Not a whisper. He's blaming it on the flipping Discord lag. Absolute joker. Oh, Oakley's got his iPad up behind his whiteboard. Just so you know, he does that. He gets who a lot as well. <laughs> that is jokes. Conspiracy theory number two. Okay, we're almost <laughs> there then. We are almost there. I've got to win this, surely. Oh, by the way, I'm playing, so in my 4 3 3, I've got a centre attack in mid. So I've got Vieira over on the left. You're changing uh, my Gerard. formation up as well, Oakley. Like, I've got to play. Dennis Bergkamp's mm. got to go Cam now, so I'm going to have to shift yeah. up my top 11 formation. But forwards, what are we saying? Not Alan Shearer, apparently. Aguero, <clears throat> Ronaldo, Henri. Somebody tell me different. I can't believe you're not putting the first and second highest goal scorers in Premier League history in. Who's the second? Wayne Rooney. I've actually got him down on my whiteboard right now. Tell me I think that prime four. Wayne Rooney wasn't Ballon d'Or worthy. He, mate, he doesn't get enough credit for what he, how good he was. Slap him in think. then. Let's have, we'll have a battle of the quiz of the, of the questions for it. I suppose it depends. Are we? We're talking Premier League when they played in the Prem, not. Oh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo played again. Ronaldo was unbelievable at United. He was, he was um, but he also he, wasn't prime Ronaldo. I've, I've he was friend. very, I think, even not prime Ronaldo was better than a lot of the other contenders. True. I'm adding, adding Hazard into the mix as well. Hazard? Okay. Yeah. That's, he that's, a, that's a fair shout. He was, he's, he's comfortably been, he, Hazard was comfortably the best I think player in the Prem when he played in it. For the, yeah. yeah, whilst he was here, to be honest. Apart from maybe the first year that he joined or whatever, but when he fully established himself, I don't think anyone else is really better. Some of the stuff he does is just outrageous. Is there any of them that he's agree on that should be in? Ronaldo. Well, my, so we both agree on Ronaldo, so we need two then. So I'm fighting for Aguero and Henri. 
Jack's fighting for Hazard and Rooney. Rooney. There is I'm going to be some triggered getting, Arsenal I'm, fans and some triggered anti-Arsenal fans in the comment section of this video. I well, why are Arsenal fans right? to be triggered for? Because Jack's not saying Henri. Oh yeah, but they How can you say that Henri is in the they, best They will realise that he's, he's a delusional Liverpool fan and they're not going to worry about it too much. They'll let, that's water off a duck. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you can only fit so many players into a Asterix, team. Asterix right? United. Asterix United. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to use a two-part question then to try and settle this. And I'm going to give you 15 seconds to write down the answer for part one. Okay, well, I've actually building up, been building up every single player that I've been able to get into the squad so far. And seeing as I've got every single player I wanted, my whiteboard's running out of space quite quickly. So Jack, you'd be doing me a favour, if anything, for me. <laughs> Oaks and <laughs> <bloody hell>. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a bigger whiteboard, mate, I think. That's what you need. I flipping need to, mate. You're, you're there without any space. I'm here running out of ink. <laughs> Go on then, Andy. Gareth Barry has played the most games in the Premier League total. Which player has played the most games in the Premier League for a single club? 15 seconds to answer. Answers on your whiteboard. 15 seconds to answer. 10 seconds. I don't know how good my counting is. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Jack, what's the answer? Uh, I put down Gerard, but I think it might be Skulls. Oakley? Oh, no, I know who it is. I Flipping put down. Giggs. I, I wrote down Gerard, but it's Ryan Giggs, it's isn't it? Giggs. It's Giggs. It's Ryan Giggs. For God's yeah. sake, man. <laughs> the time pressure got to us. Yeah. I might give Jack a pity point for shouting it out. No. Yes! You mean? Didn't give me a chance to flip and speak! <laughs> get, get, get into it! I'm getting it. Listen, I'm competitive. I don't like losing quizzes. And that's unfair. That's a bogus. Just because you don't want flipping on re You're it. not going to let me give Jack a pity point, Oakley. No, goddamn right I'm not. Alright then, for both of them, for both the points. Oh, God. How many games did Ryan Giggs play for Manu in the Prem? Oakley? Can you can you reveal it? To what, can I reveal one digit? Ra Jack reveals one digit. Sure. First digit four. Up to five. 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 Four. Five. I mean, it's not even four. What Oakley? Five six. Okay, you're not even close, mate. Jack, what are you saying? Damn. Five thirty. Okay. The actual answer. Both of you are absolutely miles away. It's just Oakley's fervor. Really. Six hundred and thirty-two. Really? I'm, a, I'm only 98 away. Wow. wow, wow, wow. I didn't... That baff, that's baffled me, mate. How many How many games did that Gareth Barry play? 6.53. 6.53, and Giggs, you've done how many? 6.32. For God's sake, I thought... Wow. Uh, Gareth Barry played 5.80 or something. Well, that's, well, how on earth has he got that question right when he's when we ask who's played the most games? How has he just won this? If I remembered, how's, it, was how, honestly, how's if I remembered it was 650, I would have been bang on the money. Just saying. <laughs> so who Fair did enough. you go for, Jack? Were you Aguero or Henry? No, no you weren't. Hazard. You were he Hazard. Hazard. Rooney. Hazard, Rooney, Ronaldo. I'm not being and funny. There is, your interaction level is going to be through the roof, Andy. I'm video. not being funny. I don't think I could disagree with this team more. I feel like the person that I agreed with on every round lost. <laughs> I think the only okay. players that I... Okay. I don't think any of these players actually get into my all-time 11. So that was good of them. Apparently, according to Jack, he's designed me a squad. He even picked the forwards, and apparently none of the players get into his all-time 11. So that's great. But if we actually look at the finished completed squad, it does actually look pretty sick, to be honest with you. You've got Van der Sar in goal. Like I said, I would have gone Van der Sar or Schmeichel. We've got Ferdinand and Terry at the back. Can't really argue too much about that. Ashley Cole's a dead cert. And Gary Neville probably as well. Vieira, Gerard, and... Bayer Camp in central midfield is a questionable one. Rooney, Ronaldo, you can't really argue about Ronaldo. He's, it's Ronaldo and Eden Hazard over on the left hand side. So my team is looking pretty sick. We actually played our first game with this squad this morning and we played against Nepo. It was a top of the table clash against Nepo's ridiculously good squad, but we absolutely smashed it. It looked at first like a very close game. And Nepo actually, it looked like he had the chance to score, but a rapid counter-attack 
hoof the ball forward, Rooney plays it through to Ronaldo, and we make it 1-0 to ourselves. Hazard then hit the post, but the ball was recovered. Gary Neville got the ball, swung it in, and Patrick Vieira was there to meet it and finish off and put us 2-0 up. Nepo did get a goal back with a long ball of his own, straight into his own Nepo monster self who scored, but we flicked the tactics onto defensive and we managed to hold out for a 2-1 win, which put us in a very, very commanding spot, topping the table after 10 games. Three points ahead of Nep, who we've just beat, and six points ahead of Bateson, but he does have a game in hand. And our next game is against Bateson and it's absolute god squad so i'll update you guys in a future video as to how we get on against Bates in our second game against him and the rest of the guys as we go back through and play the reverse fixtures in the league fingers crossed we can hold on to the top the very top of the table to be honest with you but at least the top three i'll keep you guys up to date with that in a future video if you want to get involved and play top 11 if you want to start building up your team in time to challenge your mates when the next friendly championship kicks off on the 13th of the next month there's a link down in the description to get involved i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you very much to top 11 for sponsoring it and i'll see you guys next time